Welcome back everybody, VST here at NSP Tech. Today I want to test the following things. As you know, there is the Good Guardian suite, very useful applications, battery tracker, battery guardian, the Galaxy Up Booster, Thermal Guardian, Memory Guardian, and the Media File Guardian. But I want to test specifically the Thermal Guardian. So as you know, when you launch it for the first time, you're going to get something like this. Right. And there is something called the thermal threshold. And this is indeed very important because it allows you to either increase or decrease the thermal threshold, which means if I go like this and I set the thermal threshold to be increased with two degrees Celsius, this will mean that the phone will take more heat. Hopefully also, of course, resulting into better performance and of course, less battery. Or if I go like this, guys, this will mean that the phone will not tolerate heat. So when the phone starts to heat, it will probably throttle a little bit. So the thermal management will kick in the throttling and then the performance will be kind of kept. So today in this video, guys, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to run a 3D Mark Extreme Wildlife Stress Test, which is 20 loops on the lowest setting. All right. Then I'm going to do this on the standard setting and then I'm going to do this on the highest setting and just compare the results. And of course, every time I'm doing this, I'm going to measure some temps here. So we are starting with a 30 degrees Celsius, which is OK. So let me just go and set it up to the lowest one. And also very, very important, guys, I'm going to be using here the standard performance profile. This is a recommended balance between protein speak, battery life and cooling efficiency, but this doesn't really affect games or benchmarks. So. Yeah, without any further ado, guys, let's now close all. Let me run the 3D Mark. Let's do these 20 loops. I'm then going to leave the phone to rest a bit. Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. And then I'm going to invoke the same test, but with the standard temperature. And then let the phone rest again. And do this one last time with two Celsius up. I just want to see if the Thermal Garden really affects things like benchmarks, like the 3D mark is a graphical benchmark. So if we have three different results, then I'm willing to buy that this option works. And then most probably also try to use it when I want to have some fun and game with my S23 Ultra. Okay, starting with, let me just measure right now. And we already know this is the hottest spot of the phone. 29, all right, not so bad. 32, let's see how this goes. All right, guys, we are in the middle of the first testing with minus two degree and we observe 41.1, okay, 38. So this here definitely is the hottest spot, 41.3 on our 11 test. Let's fast forward. All right, guys. Time to check the temps one more time before we see the final result, 41.7. So the phone is really, really getting hot. The stability rating here with the first test minus two Celsius was 57.8%, which means that the best loop score was 3,000, almost 800, and the lowest one was 2,172. Yeah, and we can just see how the performance changes under load, All right? So this here is the first loop. All right, guys, let's check the temperature. Phone has been resting, so we have 28, which I believe is okay. And now it's time to run the 3D Mark test again with yeah, just the standard thermal threshold. So I'm just going to open 3D Mark again. I'm going to go to Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. Run it, guys. Take some temp readings and then compare the stability rating at the end. Forty-three dot Celsius, guys. So we yeah, had a phone is running two degrees hotter. So it seems that for now, at least, one thing we can confirm: this setting worked. But let's just try to measure at the end. guys the second test finished so let me just try to take the reading 43.2 and yeah i'm just eager to also check the results so stability is 60% so i think there is a slight increase last time it was like 57 the best loop score 
is 3000 and almost 800 and the lowest loop score is 2000 almost 300 so now guys the thermal threshold is up to with two degrees celsius and we are gonna do the same thing we do all the time we're gonna go inside the wildlife extreme stress test and then compare the results at the end Okay, I see 43.6 we are probably at the end of the video gonna reach 44 degrees which yeah okay we, we did already interesting interesting results let's fast forward all right guys and so now the third test is over and we almost got 45 45 degrees at some point yeah 45.3 now let's review the results guys and just see wow 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 stability rating improved 70 percent guys the best loop score is still almost the same but the lowest loop score is really 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 higher now it's time to analyze the results and after some powerpoint sorcery guys i am proud to share the findings with you guys starting from the left to the right so here we have the first test done with minus two celsius in the middle we have the one done with the standard thermal settings and on the right one here we have the one done with two celsius up so what is the first finding guys the best loop score with using minus two was 3755 we went um, to the zero celsius then we got 3789 which is circa the same and when we upped the thermal management with 2 Celsius, we got 3790, which is actually almost the same. So where is the catch, guys? But keep looking. The lowest loop score while we were using minus 2 Celsius was 2172, resulting into a stability score of 57.8%. Now, here it gets interesting. The lowest loop score while using the standard setting, which is 0 Celsius, was 2277, which is already an improvement compared to the lower score from the previous test, resulting into a stability percentage of 60%. Not so much, right? You'd say, okay, almost like 3%, even not 3%. But now it gets interesting. When we upped the thermal management with 2 degrees Celsius, guys, the lowest loop score resulted into 2658. Compared to here, you can just see, and the stability rating increased from 57%, 58 almost, to 70%, which is still not the best out there because we see that the Vivo X90 Plus uh, can do something like 90% and there are some other insane tests, but this is the best I am getting on my Galaxy. Let's check the performance range, guys. Here you have the FPS, this is actually this line in green, and the line in purple is the loops. And you can just see, guys, with the FPS going up and down, we have some loops with very, very bad FPS. And what's even more interesting, the performance range from the first test minus two with the second test looks pretty much similar. But see what happens on the third test when we upped uh, the thermal management with two Celsius, guys. See, the loops here, right, and the frame rate, so the gap is really narrower. And you can also see it here, guys, while using minus two, we only lost battery percentage from 88 to 79, which is not so much. And the temperature raised from 31 Celsius to 40 degrees. The frame rate was like 9 FPS to 27. Another interesting finding is when we did the same test, but with zero, like the standard, we lost from 78% to 66% and the temperature increased from 30 to 42, but we also got here 28 FPS. On the next test, guys, you can just see that the frame rate is from 11 FPS to 27 FPS, resulting in a better average frame rate, but we cannot really reach 28%. But you can also see here, guys, the frame rate really is higher than this. What I don't like is that here we have this very big two dips, which means that the frame rate really dropped. We also have a dip here in the very first test. And of course, when you're using the phone standard setting, there are no dips, but you can just see here the frame rate, it is really better is really higher compared to when you were using the phone with zero Celsius and minus two Celsius. So I can definitely conclude guys that if you play with the thermal settings and you wanna really get the max out of your phone, setting plus two Celsius will get you more. Of course, you're gonna lose rapidly more battery 
the phone is gonna run hotter, right? But you're gonna get a better, better FPS. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. All the efforts that I've put in to shoot this for you guys, if that's the case, you know what to do. VST over and bye.